Thank you so much for joining me again today. Welcome to my channel, Bake and Decorate Easy with Kumzazi. Thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to the whole subscribers too. So today I'll be showing you how to use your fondant extruder. It's a very important tool to have in your bakery. So this is a fondant extruder. This is how it looks. It has like a tip here and this too. It has all these tips here like with different patterns and designs but i would just be using this four i use this four mostly one two three four that is just what i'll be using so today i'll be showing you how to make a rainbow how to make a rope how to make your pasta design and how to make your stripes so let's go stripe tip to the tip of the extruder and then I would start assembling it but before that I'm going to take my brush and lightly grease the inside of my extruder with vegetable oil you can use shortening whatever works but if you've been watching my videos you will see that I use vegetable oil for <laughs> most things So I'm going to be using white for the stripes design. I have white fondant here wrapped in clean crown. I'm just going to take a bit since we are not, you know, decorating a cake with it. So now this is a stripe this is one design done you just use this to make like clean even stripes on your cakes so this is done i'll move on to the next design so now that i'm done with the stripes i'm moving on to the rope this is the um tip for rope So now that this is out, I'm just going to twist it because twisting it is how I get my rope. As you can see, that's the rope already. So now that I'm done with this, I'm moving on to the next design. We are done with our rope. We are moving on to the next design, which is the pasta design. Let's say you want to make a pot of noodles as cake, pot of spaghetti as cake, and you don't have like a pasta machine, you can use your extruder. This is the tip I'm using for that. This is the tip. So now I start. just you know strands of pasta like fondant so you can just use this 
so i'm just going to set that aside and you know you can basically do whatever just see see how beautiful it looks see how this looks you can do whatever you want you know with it so now that that's done we'll move on to our rainbow design so i'm just going to make a small rainbow because i'm not decorating anything with it i'm just showing you we know that um rainbow has red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet so i have all the colors here red orange yellow green blue indigo violet so we'll move on to that now design or even another design of row and then your rainbow definitely for your rainbow if you want to make it stand on the top of your cake you would um, place a thin white fondant beneath it and put a skewer into it or if you want to put it in front of your cake you won't put the skewer but keep the thin white fondant so that it's going to give it a bit of a, of a structure and then you let it dry so thank you so much for joining me again today i hope i've been able to convince you to get the extruder if you don't have one see you in the next video and please do not forget to like subscribe and drop a nice comment bye